Hello everybody, welcome back to more Anthe the Ganjin mod the Ganja. Let's roll a run into okay. Speed seven. I I'm happy already. To an extent. Roll distance, roll time. I don't love that. That is a little bit of a little bit of a problem. The roll time being so bad. But the movement speed being normal, I'm happy enough with. We can move around. Yeah, normal style. This dodge. What, what if I told you it's another run where the dodge sucks? Uh, rate of fire is down. Spread is normal. Damage is basically normal. Reload time is better. Uh, Seer said no. Curse is too. The rest of the stuff, is, it's, it's pretty normal, except the boss damage is oh so bad. Okay, we also have the new uh, the matchsticks item. It's a space bar item that lets us shoot out a flare. We can shoot out 10 of them. And then we can start charging it back up. It's it, it seems pretty darn decent to me. Like at, at first I thought it was ten charges, and then that sucker was donezo, absolutely just gone. But now that I know that it's a recharge, I feel like we can work with it pretty well. I think we're just gonna have to mostly not dodge, mostly not dodge. Pretty much use our uh, our neutral movement speed and hope that that's good enough. Like, it'd be one thing if our roll time and roll distance were increased. That would be something. But it's just the, like, the roll time is increased. The distance is not so increased. I didn't even check what our other stuff was. But, I mean, I, 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 could, I didn't check because I could see it. Devolver rounds. I feel like that helps kind of. Helps kind of. It, it would be way better if... Uh, our damage was down and our boss damage was real good. But I, I actually really dig this active item at the moment because it's kind of like I always say about flare gun. It's a secondary gun. You you hold it in your offhand. You don't you don't fight with it. You know you 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 apply a status effect with it and then use something way better. That's just what that's what you do. You don't use it as a uh, as a normal gun. You're going to have a, a disappointing time if you do that. All right. But this you don't have to worry about. Ooh, please give me the devolver rounds. Please give me the devolver rounds. Or just kill. But I guess we technically do have a damage up right now. I just, I'm seeing that 75% or wait, wasn't it 75? Now it's 76% boss damage penalty. And I, uh, I frown. Uh, boy, oh boy, do I frown. Oh my goodness. Oh my golly. Uh, and I'm like, oh, that means we're really, really weak. But the thing is, it's only we're only weak against the bosses. We technically are better against uh, normal enemies. So. Huh. Weird. But yeah, these... Uh, the, I, I could see... I was going to say I could see a, a character starting with these, but I think they're way too strong for that. Should we go to the sewers? Should we go to the sewers today? Nah, we, di we didn't go to the, the jungle last episode. And hell, we might not have even gone the episode before that. We'll see, we'll see. Well, I, I think we'll, we'll try to go for the jungle. If like a black chest or a red chest shows up, we will probably continue the trend of just saying it. Nah. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's kind of fun sort of having a gun on our space bar. If I remember correctly, there was a uh, there's an active item that literally is just a gun that's on your space bar as well. Like I think the the joke is that it's a such a small gun you can't even hold it. It's literally like in your pocket or something. That would be an interesting one to get. I mean, it'd be really interesting to have both the matchsticks and it and we literally just we switch between our guns with uh with alt you know, switch between our, our guns, and then we'd also with, or wait, with alt, with the, uh, the scroll wheel, or whatever the heck, you know, I don't even know. I don't know what buttons I'm pressing, it's my lizard brain that's playing the video game, I'm not playing the video game. It's the kind of thing, I played this game so long, I'm basically not even playing it anymore. I, I, I turn the, the game on, and it just kind of happens. The game just kind of happens at this point. I don't play Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon happens, and I'm uh, and I'm commentating it. Like I'm I'm watching a video too. <laughs> Is effectively it. So I definitely don't remember. I just I just realized we don't even have full HP. Uh, 
I definitely don't remember my key bindings. Of course not. Hit, hit. I don't, it's, it's the kind of thing, you, you play anything for a thousand hours, you just, you get into such a, a rhythm. The funky, funky flow. Uh, I, I'm gonna need a key. I guess I'll buy both. AC-15, like, missing out on it doesn't make me bummed enough to want to go out of my way to purchase it. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire up one more. Hmm. What? Glass Chamber Fleeting Fire. Increases... Wait. Increases fire rate, max ammo, and negates reload speed. But breaks itself and the current gun... Oh my god! Breaks itself and the current gun when the owner takes damage. Item from the Glass Kingdom. I had to read that a couple times because that's crazy. That's crazy. This is like super meat bun. Super meat bun. Uh, item from the Glass Kingdom, home of the Lady of Pain. It was made for glass people, mainly warriors, to increase their gun efficiency through, 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 through. Nobody thought someone, probably though nobody thought somebody except glass people would use it, and they didn't prevent its brittleness. And because guns in the Glass Kingdom are made out of glass too, they also didn't prevent the gun fragility as well. All right. So, huge fingers crossed, uh, saying that I hope it does not break our starter gun. I mean, that's a big fire rate. I can't drop it, I bet. Reload's good. Did it, wait, does it say damage? Did it say damage, too? Fire rate, max ammo, negates reload speed. Okay. I mean, it's good. It does not help our damage, but... Like, if our damage is the same... Oh, God, don't dodge. Don't dodge, roll. If our damage is the same and we're firing a lot more, yeah, it should be good. Yeah, th this helps bridge the gap of what normally would have been a, uh, a terrible, terrible fight here, I think. Oh, no. Gatling Gull is pretty much uh, a dodge roll boss. Like, in my honest, humble opinion. It really feels like a dodge roll boss. We gotta space those out to make sure we don't hit the DPS cap. Which is a fun thing to think, like, we might actually hit the DPS cap on this boss on floor one when we have 25% boss damage reduction. Unfinished gun. All right. All right. Uh, do I want to pick up the AC-15? Do I want to go to the rat is, I guess, the question I'm asking. And the answer is, yeah, yeah, probably. We do have a nice amount of money, too, and I don't want to ruin that. All right. Roll it up. Boop. Clean. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Get ready to roll. Did I take all that damage? Don't tell me I took that damage. Because then my gun would have broke. Hit! <laughs> Did! No! <sighs> oh my god. Okay. <sighs> that was incredibly stressful. So we are uh, we're super super strong until we take a hit, and then we're back to Duke Land. But the thing is, like, it, it's it's one of those weird things. It makes you think, like, eh, you know, it's not that strong then, and you you you're like kind of right. You're like kind of you're like half right. I I'd say uh, it, it's not that great due to the fact that it is just a, a temporary type thing. However, if you can, I'm just gonna. Uh, you can make it last long enough. You can start to get a lot of uh, lasting effects via, like, armor. That's effectively where you, you're going to get your strength up. You just hope, like, maybe you'll be able to stockpile a bunch of stuff for later. Uh, you do get more money by not taking uh, as much damage. I don't know if it's, like, even that much. 
but it's like enough to be uh, cognizant of like I, you play better you'll you'll make more money at least that's always been a thing on like the wiki and stuff I, I and I've t decided that I believe it but so you you know you play better you, you get hit less because you're doing more damage for these first few floors maybe you'll be good later like maybe you'll a lot of times like my meat bun runs I'll get hit like I will get hit and I'll probably get hit here like literally immediately and my gun's gone and I'm depressed now see here's the here's the thing though above anything else it wrecks your gun too that that is I I, I knew that that was coming and it still was still was terrible do I like that item Mm. From a blue chest, I... probably not. Do I? Will I pick it up again? Probably. Truthfully, it wouldn't have been as bad if our dodge roll didn't suck. You know, it's just another one of those days where, another one of those days where we roll a dodge roll. Poor dodge roll run. Tis what it is. If you get a devolver round shot, that'd be great. Oh man, going from that fast fire rate to this is just truly a bummer. I was hoping we'd get a devolver round shot, maybe. But no, we have. Yep, we do have devolver rounds still. Had to fact check it. We still have it. As soon as we find the uh, the shop, though, we can obviously get that key, get that item, which hopefully is a really good gun. Or just like hell, I would take uh, I would take boss rounds or literally just any any damage up. Like I would be pumped beyond belief to see plus two rounds in there. I don't know what tier they are, but they're just a really big damage up. So I I assume they're high tier. If plus one bullets is uh, what B or C or B tier. Then I would think uh, plus two bullets, you would think, would be twice as good. Doink. That shouldn't have worked. Ooh, Nelly. Okay. You'd think with uh, with two different stats of dodge roll being uh, being rolled, you'd, I'd get more runs where one of the parts of it was uh, was pretty dang good. But I don't know if maybe, like, the, the range of the two of them skews it to worse, like, or if my RNG is truly just, like, some of the worst I've ever seen with it. One of the two. One of the two. Hip, 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 hip. I'm happy that we do have that sucker. The space bar kind of acting as a secondary gun. It's quite nice. Rapid fire flare gun. Don't mind if I do. Shots. I got practice fighting you guys. I've been fighting you since the beginning. Okay. However, it's not you I'm worried about. It's your papa. He's coming. Can I, uh, you know, make the make papa turn into the baby? Yeah, you better believe it. Oh, that's satisfying. That's why I like things like Devolver Rounds, is just for those those rare scenarios. Are they frequent enough to really make it a good item? No, probably not. But boy, when it works, it feels like you're getting away with something, you know? It really does. Doink. See ya. Two shot pop. No, yep. And that's the other thing. You just fire it off. Top two boys. Move along. I wouldn't mind like a super duper coolness uh, build at this point. If I if Ice Cube works how I think it does, where after we fire our first one, it can still be charged up. That would be amazing. About time. Thank you. I will use it today. This is one of those rare scenarios. I do not, if you're new to the channel, I don't use the rat items except for the rat boots. But if I get them from a regular chest, I will use them. 
to preserve I'm kind of, it's like to preserve their specialness because otherwise you know like we can have this gun every single run where's the fun in that Rito you forgot the rad items you forgot to watch my other videos <laughs> or you just haven't seen them yet now you know I don't I, I never never forget I've never forgotten the rad items. I've only ever willingly, like, you don't forget something every single, I mean, well, okay, let's be honest, I do, but you don't forget the exact same thing every single day for the past, like, a uh, year or two. How long has it been since ag and I don't know how long it's been since ag and but that's something I started relatively quickly in the ag and world uh, back when that came out, like, it, it, it probably took me a couple times of, of perfecting the rat to really, or not perfecting even, but just like, you know, getting all the keys. It only took me a couple times to be like, yeah, this is going to turn into the same run over and over. I'm just going to see the same run over and over and over if I keep on doing this. I don't want to shoot him too many times with the cheese because he will get becheesed and we won't be able to do anything badoof anything i'm gonna just pick this up we ain't going to the abbey i don't need to find a secret room because i am not gonna be going to fight the advanced dragon he smells all right who nelly who nelly 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 Trying to get the uh, twinsy. Uh oh. It's dodge roll. It's another fight where I really, really feel like a normal dodge roll makes a big difference. Let's see, like right there. I, I don't know what I could have done, except from just be in a better position to start with, which is a fair assessment. I feel like we can just spam this, and we won't be hitting the damage cap right now. I don't know if the boss damage cap hinders our uh, our matchsticks or not, but this is going okay. Like this is going okay damage wise. It's really it's for 25% penalty. Oh my god, for 25% penalty, it's not that bad. I mean, cool. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna frown about that. Next. All right. Mm. Coolness would be really, really neat. Ice, what is that? Uh, the ice pack. Ice pack would be, I think, the dream, huh? Because that, that makes it slowly charge up over time. So as soon as, if that activates, as soon as we start, uh, we fire the first one then that could be really, 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 really good. Because, hell, it, it could take a long time to go through the 10 shots. Man, we do not want to be in the middle here. I think we're going to benefit a lot from doing a lot of dodges into walls. Because it's about the... Like, we travel a slightly further distance, too, which is weird. God dang. The Becheezer is overpowered. How does this thing have infinite ammo? Dog roll, please. Infinite ammo, crazy good solid damage, ridiculous CC potential. Why is this an item you can get every single run? Hell, give the player a clone every run at the, at the, by, by tickling the shopkeeper's mustache. Why not? <laughs> have every run have no meaning. <laughs> Might as well. Where is the last one? Where's the arrow? There it is. All right. And I know for a fact there's like a handful of people out there who are just like, oh yeah, clone every run, that is a good idea. No. <laughs> no, no, no. You would not like it anymore. Okay, I mean... New item. Jellyfish heart explosive. This is a risk of rain, ain't it? I'm pretty sure this is the risk, a risk one of the 
ones from the Risk of Rain 2 pack. I'm still trying it out to see if I want to keep it or not. Because obviously, the vi visually, it doesn't fit in at all. At all. And I, I wish there was custom sprites for it that turned it into the Gungeon style. I really genuinely do. I think that'd be less jarring. Heart of a Wandering Vagrant. Any explorers have been killed by the blast the creature releases when brought near death. This, this, the organ that makes it happen. Still fresh. Heart of a Wandering Vagrant. Any explorers have been killed. Any explorers, met probably many explorers. Many explorers have been killed by the blast. Creature releases when near death. Okay. So if I'm close to dying, or if I get hit, I explode. I not. Oh no! It makes uh, makes them explode, or was that just because that was the explosive? Hmm. I'm not seeing any explosives on that, so I think I was right. I think it's very much a, uh, when we get hit, we explode. I, I feel like there's already one of those items in the mod pack somewhere. Pop, 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 pop. I think, I think. If they're just all, like, it's the kind of thing where, if, if they're just all items from Risk of Rain, there might be reasons why those kind of items don't work in this game, you know? Or, or it's not that it doesn't work, like, it totally thematically like fits but it's just like things that may be exciting in a risk of rain may not be exciting here like on hit effects i feel like we got too many of them in the mod pack already if it's if it's on hit we need like more ways to activate the on hit on hit items are never my favorite just because uh i mean that it's not it's not like a toot my own horn situation as much as it is like when, when anyone's played as much <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> Very funny! You did it! Did you hear my real laugh? Berserker Shorter Guard. Shor shorter, shorter Guard. Shoulder Guard. NRG. Okay. But I mean, I could be wrong. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I would love the ability to steal so we could just get both the two new items. If I got the two new items, I could justify, I think, not going to the rat floor. One I feel a little weird about. One I do feel a little weird about. What is NRG? When you get hit, you go faster? Something like that. Ooh, he exploded, exploded twice there. The thing is, uh, Devolver Rounds with this is actually pretty good because when you kill the enemy, they release the pool. Uh, we just, and it's really, oh my god, <laughs> the roll. When you, uh, bop them, holy moly, bop the little ones and, uh, take down the whole room, that's pretty darn, uh, pretty darn great. They have to be, they have to be fully becheesed before they do it, though, actually. Seems to be the case. Maybe it doesn't work. Take it, I take it back. I don't use this gun very often, man, I don't even know. Use it as often as uh, any other S tier gun. Maybe less on. It feels like I see it less than a normal S tier gun. I I thank you. Balance. Thank you for giving this to me for free. I would have been upset if I had to pay for it. See that I'm tempted by that other item because it's expensive, but I'm slightly uninterested due to the fact that I think it's uh, it, 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 what if it's just an another uh, another on hit or something? I don't know. I haven't played enough Risk of Rain uh, to know. Is good. I don't know. Did they did they make it better? I played it. Uh, I played Risk of Rain two. I'm not talking Risk of Rain one. I. I Honestly, it, Risk of Rain 1 wasn't necessary. I don't think it was for me. I will probably play it more, but not 100% my jam. Risk of Rain 2, I think it was closer to being my jam, but I played it I played it way too early in its development cycle. It just, uh, oh my god, this dodge though. 
Played it too early in its development cycle. I think that I, uh, I, I like, you know. You, you play something in early access when it's too close to the beginning, you just kind of like, in the back of your mind, you're like, oh, that's just going to be the same when I play it again. When I know full well that it's been getting massive updates since I did my series on it. The other thing is, it's the kind of game where the community already knows, like, a lot about it. Like, I, I didn't really play Risk of Rain 1. I played Risk of Rain 2, and everybody was jumping down my butt about how I was playing. Because they were like, what do you mean you don't know what this item does? You didn't play 100, 200, 5,000 5, hours of Risk of Rain 1? What do you mean you don't know what, uh... Genesis Loop does. Coolness up. I dig that. So we actually just can't get it. Should I cheat just to get four cases? Just make it a risk of rain run. Death begets death. Informative. Let me check. What does it do to our stats? Anything? Gives us two curse. I hope it's good. Here, what, let's say uh, what's something else I can do to to justify it. Here, let's pretend I sold this. Pretend I sold that. That more than makes up for the price. I feel like that's a, a generally acceptable way to do it, so we can actually like showcase cool new items. Is actually just you know sacrificing some some of our other things and be just pretending you know it's RNG but just pretend there was a sour creep there bada bing bada boom death begets death our fire rate is bonkers fire rate up when we kill enemies fire rate up when we kill enemies or when we hit enemies just when we hit them. So I haven't killed anybody in a while, but my rate of fire is still amazing. Or is it for the whole room? I guess maybe it's when I kill enemies for the entire room. I mean, oh my god. I need a dang automatic gun. Bad. I mean, this is a really good item. Man. The difference, the difference in uh, how good this is versus the other one is nuts. If we just keep on firing, we'll probably polymorph them, right? One of these days. One of these days. There we go. And now we're back to normal. So that's what it is. Rate of fire up on killing an enemy throughout the entire room. Oh my god. This is b -b 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 busted. It does have, I guess, like, the the asterisk is it does give you two curse. Yeah, you know, which I feel like nets it a little bit of leeway in the balance department. But maybe not as much as it's getting. It is also a high tier item. It was 115 from an alt shop, which probably means it's, uh, it's at least A tier. Probably S tier. Right? It's at least... Oh, God. Uh, it's at least A tier, probably S tier. So that I feel like that uh, that goes further to justify. This is... I mean... It's a little, a little too tight. A little, a little too tight. <laughs> a little too tight. You can have it, Mr. Rat. But more than anything right now, I guess, like, on hit damage things would be good. Explosive rounds would be hilarious. Hell, give me more Risk of Rain items. Give me more Risk of Rain items. Oh, worst dodge on planet Earth. Da -da 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 -da. So we had a rate of fire down to start with, though, don't we? Yeah, we have a... 
penalty to uh, to our fire rate just by existing right now. But like, oh my goodness, oh my golly, I'm gonna like uh, NP or bosses that summon adds way more than anything, because that's currently like right now our room clear is crazy easy. Our boss fight is. Thank you. I'm not going to turn into Gun Knight, so I don't know. I don't know why I'm, I'm not excited about it. I just don't care that much. If this was floor one, I'd feel something different. But it's not, so I don't. Uh, I'll see what I can do. See what I can do. Worst comes to worst, I'll, uh, I'll, drop some, uh, I'll drop another item that I think would be more than enough to cover it. I don't want to do that too much, but, like, I feel like the past few episodes we haven't gotten a lot of new items. And if there's, if these things are going to show up and I just don't have enough money for them, that's kind of, you know, it's a bummer. And I am trying to treat it, you know, like like I said, and, and a lot of people seem to enjoy this, uh, this aspect, that I'm just treating it more like an expansion than anything. I, I like that, too. I like that mentality, but... I also like, you know, it's, it's, it's just, I want to see cool things, too. I want to see cool things. I wish there was, like, a little switch I could do to just be like, I want modded stuff to show up more often than other stuff. Like, I wish there was, like, a little switch I could do. Maybe, I mean, maybe there's, maybe there's a, some kind of mod out there or some way to add, to make a little mod that's just, um, not like, because, like, I don't want to... I don't want to actively cheat, but I wish there was like a, there might be a way to increase the freshness or, or something. There's that, apparently that secret stat that makes it so you're more likely to find items you've never picked up before. I, will, I wonder if there's a way or like a mod where you could turn that up to like 11. A modded way. I bet you, I bet you there's some way. If you can turn, if, if Gungeon can be turned into an RPG with levels and stat points, I think that there can probably be a way to turn up the freshness stat. 49. I mean, see, that could give me something new, something cool, but I don't know. Probably not. 49. We're getting really, really close. We might actually be able to afford it just naturally. This is probably the boss, though. The one uh, stat we have that's pretty good, of course, has to be our reload time. Because that makes this harder. Alright, I'm going to call it right... Ah, that's the one I wanted to call it on. Two. <laughs> the frame drop, okay. That's going to be all I'm going to do. I can't... I can't stand to do anymore. This helps our boss damage issue for sure. Oh, shoot. Oh, God, it totally does. We could just hit that boss damage cap. Yep, that definitely that definitely helps us with that issue of our run. Problem solved, sort of. Fifty-eight. Uh. Is it a gun? What is this? Increases reload speed. <laughs> Reloading creates flaming oil and gives fire immunity to Cloud the First Dragon. Okay. Oh, it's a. Uh... Oh, it's the. Fo okay, I got gotcha. you. covered in. It's covered in flammable liquid. Never seems to run out. Dragons were not originally from the Gungeon. They came from a fiery world that no longer exists. Increased reload speed. Reloading creates flaming oil. Fire immunity. Okay. That seems. Uh. Counterintuitive. With this. Or is it 
totally intuitive. I don't think so. I don't know if I even want to open this or not. Uh, yeah, no, the answer is probably no. We can't reload this, even though it has infinite... It's because it has an infinite clip size. Next! I don't think we've exploded ourselves a single time. Alright. Easy room. I like I just I like in these rooms. It's always so straightforward. It's also fun to see them with the bechiser. I was gonna say I should go get I should go back to enter the gun dungeon at some point, but I don't know that I necessarily should. I don't think there's that much to it. <laughs> I think I, I I like the idea. And I wish it there was I wish there was more to it than what it is, but it was just, you know, it's a it's a goofy fake fake bootleg knockoff simple simple kind of a game might be a fun romp to go back to it like for a brief bit of time beep up but get out of this cheese sir get out of the cheese sir okay We increase our rate of fire on our. Um, I'm trying to reload with the. Does it have to be the final clip? We're not even doing the fire on reload anymore. What's up with that? It's broken! It's done broke! That is confusing. Trying to think of why it would break. Yeah, still no fire. Wait, what? What? Why does it only work with the rad gun? Why does it only work with the rad gun? Help! My brain, it's very sick. And confused. Do not understand. I hope this answers everybody's uh, question about why I typically skip the, the rad items. It's just too easy. Too dang easy. Do without taking damage? Sure. I'll try. That's a challenge I always try to do. Don't always succeed, but I'm always trying to do it. It's one of my less preferred ones to do because it's one where you... Oh, Infinite. Not even close. Uh, it's one of those ones where um, you can do it. You can lose it on accident. Oh. Did anybody know that this gun is from... Uh, let's see. What, what am I, what I going to say today? Did anybody know this gun is from TF2? Did I say that last time? This gun's from Halo. This is the gun from Halo. Getting that slick comment engagement back in the comment section. Hey, while you're down there, could you press the like button? Thank you. Thank you. My boss, YouTube, cares a lot about that. So I would love it if you would uh, take a half a second to go press that button. I uh, wish it didn't matter. But it does. So I have to care about it, unfortunately. But if you want to, yeah, if you want to help support the channel. If you think anybody, if you think other people should see these videos at some point, or see my channel, or you think I should, you know, be able to do this as my job, <laughs> a like is a great way of making that stuff happen. And then you can leave your comments about, uh, about Borderlands. About does this guy really know, does this guy really not know who guns from Borderlands? You can put that right at right after you like the video. You only get to leave that comment if you like the video. This is working very well. Like bonkers well. This is one of those autopilot runs. 
I think we, yeah, we got a, we got a great, a great pickup. <laughs> In that risk of rain item. It's, it's pretty nuts. The, the two that we got could not be more different in their turn in terms of their effectiveness like this is borderline way too strong the other one is borderline like I don't even I couldn't even tell you if I if it worked or not because I don't even I'm not planning on really utilizing it what is this bubble lead yeah. might be kind of you know what it might be kind of funny to see it go bubble bubble at max speed. Oh, it also does work with the fire. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. What the hell is this? Run! Just go up, bubble, leave a fire, little fire path. Goofy as hell. Uh, we've not found the sharp yet, huh? Not to mention we have the uh, dang flare gun matchsticks. I wish these would travel a little further. Because we don't have the... Uh, the thing that makes the bubble blaster better is the fact that, uh, you know, there's a way to shoot them at the enemy. Whoop! Oh, you stand no chance. I, I want an item that summons an enemy for us. Uh, this is just a hot dog. Oh, it's a gun. <laughs> it's a gun. A simple hot dog. It smells pretty tasty. How do these, how do, how do the things work? Oh boy. That it is. I wish that it... You know what sound I wish it made instead of this one? I wish it made that sound when you shot it. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That's I think that'd be better. <laughs> All right, let's uh, use the hot dog. Is it any good? I kind of don't want to waste the ammo in it. For uh oh, oh that's right. I don't want to waste the ammo in it for later. When it's actually gonna be good. Also, we may not actually hit the uh, the damage cap. There's a there's like a a light DPS race going on. No 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 no. We might die. We have to be so dang careful. I don't even care about the hit. I'm just... If I don't... If I don't work a little bit faster, we're going to get hit on the bottom and we're going to die. Okay. We And that's... Uh, if you hit the bottom wall... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. All right. Never mind. I remember the days where I used to get really... Like, I actually would get close to the wall. <laughs> and uh, that, that just was going on so much longer than it normally does, so I assumed that we were going to get bopped. Mm. My boy. Mm. <gasps> oh, who cares? Alright. Back to the Infinigun. It's the gun from Croc 2. I'm glad we finally got the gun from Croc too. I do want to check out the the hot dog, the hot dog gun, hot dog. It's just it's just a hot dog. Hot dog. All right. Is it any good? It is a tap shoot. Get hot dog. Look at that bullet. Look at that bullet. I feel like the the default sound effect of it is 
because it's a lot of these uh, a lot of the modded guns use the 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 bass sound effect and I feel like I feel like just ditching that goes a long way in making it a a more appealing weapon it's just it's a it's a psychological thing I think it's, honestly it's not great but it is a hot dog so like you know it is what it is the animation on it is really good and the flip like whoever whoever did the art for it it's on point it's on point I don't know if it does anything else I am curious if it has a synergy with uh, with the dang uh, Sonic the Hedgehog bullets what is it nope light speed uh, light speed hot dogs I was just curious I wanted to see if it had a synergy and we're already almost out I mean the increased fire rate here here's that that's one major thing we need to think about that is normally uh, no, that normally would be a huge problem with that item that we got this fire rate if we didn't have infinite ammo guns it actually could be a problem so I think that's something we need to factor in God, this ring. it's too claustrophobic yep so it might not be as uh, OP as my immediate suspicions were thinking because that actually matters a lot ammo economy is a big deal is a big deal fill up the hot dog why not fill up the hot dog why not all right we gotta we gotta bring out the big guns And now we can bring out the hot dog. If our damage went up instead of our fire rate, it's a different story. We're shooting more shots, they do the same amount of damage. I kinda wanna empty this out so I can I wanna I wanna do something. I wanna experiment with it. Oh no. We need fast fire rates so we can protect ourselves! What do we have for curse? Four? Sure. Rip. Rip. I wonder if this starts to push us back harder and harder. Like, because, you know, like we're technically firing faster and faster. It doesn't feel like it right now. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. And it's gone. Well, it's definitely firing faster because that ran out oh, very fast. I want to do something goofy for a second. Oh my god. What is that one thing called? getting carpal tunnel on is I have to press the dang mouse button 56 more times still it's for the jokes though one moment we're almost done all right oops what do they call the I want a meme I had the meme all right just a goof. Oh my god. It's pretty, you know, pretty funny without the actual Titan bullets still on. It's a giant hot dog that shoots tiny, tiny hot dogs. How are you still alive? It is going to run out, though. And like, we, we're not really benefiting from the super fast fire rate, is the thing. Because it only goes as fast as I can click for the most part. 
And I'm not going to click past a certain speed because my dang fingers will hurt. And it's gone. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and it's back to normal. Uh, I'll do it again. Okay. But now we will. I do want to see. That is hilarious. We're not keeping it. We're not keeping it, but it is hilarious. This is by far, like, what we should be doing. Our damage ain't hot. But we don't have to worry about the ammo. Oop. Done? Nope. Alright, we have a key. Oh, that was a... One of those was a bonus room. There's a bonus room. That's nice. Uh, turn my hearts into shields. Okay. Should I have? Probably not. Probably not. Oh. Ramp up. Ramp up. Oh, no. What items would be good with this? Like, Mimic Whistle would actually have a, an interesting purpose as, like, a, a way to generate extra fire rate during boss fights and stuff, but only after you kill a Mimic during the boss fight. It would be interesting. Is there no cap on this? There is a cap. I'm glad there's a cap. One benefit of getting all these... Oh, it goes away when you get hit. I have not noticed that. Oh, it's the baby dragon. That's cute. I've not noticed that because I don't think I've been hit while I'm shooting fast. Oop. Suffering from success. Okay, thank you. Hey, there's definitely a room to use that in. Oh. Thanks. 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 Oh, that's why. We didn't get another chest from this. This was just a chest that spawned. Ooh. Ooh. It's going to go... What? Our attack speed will go down right now, though? Oh, it's still really good. Seems like those might do like a little bit of damage. Summon your ads. Summon your ads. Please. Oh, this dodge though. I might have made that. Oh no. Oh no. I don't even think I'm reaching with this right now. I was hoping for ads, but oh well. Beep. Okay. Let's give me a little spicy with this dodge roll. We made it work. We made it happen, Captain. I can't believe we won cycle. I guess it's because it's out. What else was here? Thanks. Bye. All right. This uh, is a good one. It's a spicy one. Oh, we get our normal dodge rolls in here. 
It, it's really weird. I, the, the amount of the types of things they turn off in this room are weird. Like, I get it. It's so that you don't fly out into space. Yada, 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 yada. But, like, just put walls on there, man. Just put, just put invisible walls on there, man. But, you know, it's all good. Doesn't really matter. It's not really relevant for the most part, so who cares? Except for me. All right. It's going to be nice to have chaos bullets with the fire rate. Because what did I say? I said I wanted on hit effects. What did I get? All on hit effects. Mini Namacon would be hilarious. To oh, the thing that takes uh, bullets from all parts of the game. I hate that room. Bullets from all guns in the game. Speaking of, I hate that room. It's a big one. Okay. The good news about biggins is by the time we get to the end, we're doing, oh, big, big number of damage. Like that guy went kapoof. Next. Hello? Arrow? Well, that's fun. Where is he? Ah! God, this freaking room. It's too, it's too big. It's too big. That was smelly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's not that bad right now. Um, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay, good. I was going to say, I can't, I definitely can't get there. I was worried that we weren't going to be able to actually complete it there. But yeah, when there's the, uh, no enemies left to buff, when there's nowhere else to run, when there's none left to buff, he starts to chase you down like anybody else. Okay. I feel like Devolver Rounds is working well with this fire rate up. Son of a gun. Oh. It's a... So we just can't get hit, though. We kind of got like a... I totally forgot. This is the run that had that stinking glass... Uh, that glass chamber. Imagine if we had glass chamber and we got hit with this right now. Oh, I'd cry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! <laughs> How did that happen? How did that work? Why did I do it? And more importantly, why didn't I take damage? Something give me contact immunity. Oh yeah, so but our, I was gonna say our banana. <laughs> it's got it got uh, some serious banana vibes, banana gun vibes from the game. Cause it's, you know it's like it's just a food. Is there a mimic in here? Yep. Stop it. Stop it. That's a loop. That's a hot dog. This is a hot dog. Man, they really changed Doom with Doom 2020. They really changed it. They took some interesting choices. Made some interesting decisions with Doom Eternal. It's a freaking hot dog, though. It's not. It's not doing as much as I want. Cause I, it's, <laughs> it's limited by my own stinky uh, human anatomy, and how fast I can actually. It's like, it's limited by how fast I can actually click a button. 
If I had that item that made my, all my guns automatic, that'd be interesting. What is it? Uh... I can't remember what it's called. I'll, I'll look it up. I just, I just want to see for, for goof reasons. We're not going to use it, but I just want to see it for goof reasons. It's uh, da, 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 ammo flower. Okay, fine. We'll use it for one room. It's not even going to be better. Oh my, of course, this is the room we get. Oh my god. Turn every gun into automatic. Okay, I mean, that would have been hilarious. That would have been great. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so slow. That would have been hilarious. And it was fun to see. Yeah, you can tell why it's like limited by my clicking. Ugh. Ow. Ow. My wrist, though. Ow. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. It's like, uh, it's like Mario Party minigames all over again. I guess I'm happy we went for this stupid shield life. Because we haven't been getting a lot of heart drops, and uh, we have are running into a lot of jammed enemies. In Finnegan. In Finnegan. From Croc 2. Oh, no. I guess I don't know why I'm... Like, normally these rooms that are slightly annoying because of the mass amounts of enemies are actually, like... They're the rooms we kind of hard counter. Because we super quickly get up to max speed. So they're really not that bad. Get him, boyo. He polymorphed them for us. Oh, mimic. Mimic room. Oh, I guess the one to the south is the mimic room. Huh. Oh. I think I think that's a that has a mimic in it. I prefer to not fight it, I guess. The black chest mimics are actually kind of uh, they're a really tough enemy when they're among other enemies. When you fight them in the chest room, you can cheese them really like a lot easier. <laughs> you can cheese them a lot easier, but when you actually have to fight them a uh, legit style. In a, uh, in a big room with other uh, other stinkers, it's a little bit different. Okay, summon ads. Coward! This isn't even reaching. Is it? No. Here we go. You fool! Give me hungry bullets. And in this, in the middle of this boss fight, we're great. Yeah, I fight right back to normal. I'm trying so hard to use this stuff. I, what I should really be using is obviously the um, the rad gun. I think we would have lost our uh, fire rate up, but it would have been kind of nice to try it. Enough. Yeah. We didn't even get the sunglasses. Oh man. Stupid. This is stupid. Just do the infinite gun. The dodge into the bullet. Because of the slow molasses. 
I don't know where we got this fire rate from right now, but I'm digging it. Maybe it is on hit and not on kill. Yeah, we wouldn't be at 3.45. We wouldn't have been at 3.45 if it was only on kill. It's on hit this whole time. This guy doesn't know the risk of rank 2 item? It's almost like I was already talking about that. <laughs> there, now I, I... Now I can save for two things. Do not want to have to make tight uh, dodges with this thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's so... Uh, it's so slow. Who'd have known? Oh, okay, we got him with the uh, we got him with the snail bullets. He's done. All right, that is that, and what it is is over. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks to that risk of rain item. I mean, it it made the whole run what it was. Why did we have only two HP? When why? I just realized that. Oh yeah, because that one. I don't know. I feel like the HP to shield item, it, I, I'm, I still need to figure out like if it's really worth it because you get a lot of HP pickups. I, I don't know. If it just converts each heart container into two shields, that's not really worth it in any way. That's kind of a bad item and if that's all it does. If it converts it into three, that's a different story kind of. Even then, I don't think it's like that great. But that is that. That is going to do it for today. Thank you, Risk of Rain. Thank you, everybody, for watching it. With an extra special thank you to DHex, Throbo, and Dalrook, Justice, Tom, the Shogun, Gun, More Than Awesome, Semicolon, P, and Patricia for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. Help me do this full time at a time where I could not otherwise. Go check out the other series on my channel. I do not just play Gungeon. I've got all kinds of stuff. Roguelikes and more every single day. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Like the video. Half a second is what it takes. See you next time. Bye.